What's going on guys? Welcome to the second video of Metasploitable 2 without Metasploit series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the manual exploitation of VSFTPD 2.3.4. So, uh, this is the port scan from our pre previous video. We have uh, VSFTPD 2.3.4 running on port 21. So let's see uh, what is the issue in this specific version of uh, FTP and how can how can we exploit it manually. So uh, the first approach to search for any exploit or software version, you can use search exploit. Yes, sorry. Okay, uh, we have the exact same version of VSFTPD and the vulnerability is backdoor command execution. You can see that this is a Metasploit module. We are not interested in Metasploit modules. So, uh, we'll see how can we exploit this service manually. So, you can simply search for VSF. PP two point three point four and see what vulnerability is existing in this specific version of FTP. So you are not interested in Rapid 7 because this is a Metasploit module and we are going to look at any other art article uh, which details the description of vulnerability. Uh, we have got an NMAP script for this vulnerability to check whether this is vulnerable or not. So, let's see, this is Metasploit, okay, not the one we are looking for. To be more specific, okay. okay. Uh, we have the details of the vulnerability now. VSFTPD contains a backdoor that is triggered by entering anything uh, followed by a smiley as a username and any password or no password, which actually opens a port 6200 on the server and can directly connect it. Okay, let's try. Okay, uh, to connect to FTP, you can use uh, different tools. Uh, like you can use FTP, you can use Telnet, Netcat. So uh, let's do Telnet. I can do FTP, but I don't know whether FTP is installed in my cloud or not. Okay, for that from So let's try Telnet. Telnet and port 21. Okay, now we are connected to FTP. And we have to pass the parameter user blah blah followed by a smiley and pass okay. okay. Now uh, 
As for my understanding, a port 6200 must have been opened on the target machine. So let's try and find out. As you can see that there is no port 6200 on the target machine uh, in the previous scan. So let's see. Map minus SV, SV port 6200. IP address. <coughs> yeah, we have discovered an open port 6200 on the target machine. So, uh, let it finish. Okay, we have the port open LMX. So, let's try to connect to this port. Cap, reverse, IP address, and port. Sorry. Uh, let's do it on 62. And the port is open, and we are connected to the port. So let's find out if we can run any commands on this. On my root. Yeah, we are into minus by the root 2. We have port 6200. So as you can see, that we don't have an interactive shell. So to make this in netcat shell interactive, we can uh, use a Python script. Okay, uh, still we don't have an interactive shell component, so we will background this session control Z STTY echo raw. And now we will foreground our previous process by using FG. Okay. So we have probably the interactive shell. So let's try, yeah, we can use arrow keys. So uh, here are my ours. We can use tab, we can use up arrow keys, and so on. 